Hey everybody, this is Mark with AtTech, and in this video we're going to be comparing OpenCL versus Metal Performance inside of Premiere Pro and Media Encoder. Now a huge thanks to Puget Systems for doing a lot of this testing. We did some of it on our own and our results are backed up by what um, they did, but they just have a more selection of hardware to use. Um, so that's why we're using a lot of their results as well. If you're on a Mac with a dedicated AMD GPU, you may notice that there is an option for um, different render options. You can do OpenCL with Mercury Playback or you can do Metal. Which one is the best? I thought Metal might be kind of better because it's made by Apple. It's meant, as they call it, to get the game closer to the core of the hardware. Um, that's what they claim and it's mainly for gaming and graphics performance. But um, graphics acceleration, there's two options. So which one is better? Um, we're going to check that out. So we're going to be doing two different tests. We're going to be doing live playback and exporting. And for exporting, we're going to be doing just an export and we're going to do um, some rendering as well. So let's take a look at live playback right here. We have got a 12 core Mac Pro, a 14 core iMac Pro, and a 10 core iMac Pro. Both of those are going to be tested on Metal and OpenCL. And right here for our graph that we've got, we're going to be comparing the baseline to the 10 core um, iMac Pro using OpenCL. So anything that has a lower percentage is less powerful and anything that has a higher percentage is more powerful than the 10 core iMac Pro in OpenCL. So right here in the green got 4K ProRes 422HQ and 4444. In blue we've got DNX HR HQ, H.264 and 6K RE RAW. And then in red we've got 4K, 6K and 8K red footage. So the green is going to be the best optimized um, using Apple's own codecs. The um, blue is going to be um, more professional but still somewhat optimized and then um, the red is going to be raw, um, not really um, specialized or edit ready at all. So taking a look at just the 10 core iMac Pro, you can see that in edit ready, which is the green, um, we get 80% performance compared to OpenCL. And then it just goes down from there. We've got 68% on our blue and then in red raw footage, um, which has to be debayered live during that playback. We get 24% uh, performance compared to OpenCL. And the same is true throughout all of these. OpenCL performs much better than Metal on all of these machines. It is true that Edit Ready ProRes performs better than any of the other ones but it still performs worse than OpenCL. One thing to notice throughout this entire video is that Metal always performs much better when it is combined with Apple's own codecs or edit-ready formats. So that includes ProRes and H.264. The time it really struggles is when it's working with raw footage, it has to debayer it live, and it just has to kind of process a lot more data than it would be if it was edit-ready. Taking a look at export, we've got these same machines right here. Again, this is going to be compared to the 10 core OpenCL iMac Pro. And for our different clips, we do have the same. Um, but what's really interesting right here is that Metal performs better than OpenCL at exporting ProRes. So like I said earlier, using edit ready formats and codecs is much better when it comes to exporting with Metal. We also do see some improvements with the H.264 and DNxHR on export with metal. And in most of the cases, doing ProRes and H.264 and DNxHR exporting is faster on metal. But again, like I said, it is not the best when it comes to debayering clips. So when we take a look at our red footage, we only get 50% performance on the 10 core iMac Pro when using metal compared to OpenCL. And that's pretty much the same on all other Macs. So do you want to use Metal for your exporting and live playback? Don't use it for live playback. OpenCL is far superior, no matter what codec you're using. And it's really bad if you're using raw footage. But when it comes to exporting, you may want to consider using Metal. It is actually faster when you're working with edit-ready codecs, such as H.264 and ProRes. Again, like I said many times, if you are using raw footage, do not use metal. OpenCL 
is much better with that. But it depends on what you're doing. Test it out, do some testing on your own. Know what you're shooting. Are you doing raw footage? Are you using ProRes or H.264? Is it an MOV or an MP4? What are you using? It really matters on what you're doing. I got one more chart to show before I let you go. This is a comparison from 4K up to 8K footage and comparing RAW to H.264 to ProRes DNX HR. So right here, we are gonna be using the Mac Pro, the 12 core model. And in the light green it is going to be using metal and in the dark green is OpenCL. When it comes to 4K RAW, Metal and OpenCL are both the same. But when it comes to H.264, DNX HR, ProRes 422 and 4444, Metal is much faster than OpenCL. Again, lower is better on this chart right here. But when we go to red raw footage, as you can see, it is much longer than OpenCL to export and to render in Metal. Only when we get to ProRes 4444 in 8K is that Metal is faster. So for the last time I'm gonna say this, using edit ready footage like ProRes or H.264 is better. Raw footage is not going to benefit at all using Metal. OpenCL is better, but again, it's all what you're shooting on. So there you go. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.